Hello and welcome to Emerald Meadows. Today we're going to be looking at uh, some mini cameras that I use for indoor and outdoor flying. And today we're going to be looking at the very, very popular TXO3, TXO2, TXO3, and the LS-F200. Um, this comes under different uh, models, uh, different brand names. Uh, but if you search for the LS-F200, you'll come up with this uh, cute little camera. These are all in one with the video transmitter and camera. Both of these have 800 uh, TVLs. Um, this one here has a, um, a uh, field of view of 120 degrees. And this little baby here has a field of view of 150. Um, I find both of them are quite good um, for indoor and outdoor flying. The TXO3 is, is really ideal for uh, indoor flying environments since it only has a 25 milliwatt. And the LS-F200 has uh, a variable or a changeable uh, 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 power ranging from 25 milliwatt to 600. I, however, I have my doubts that this is actually a, a 600 uh, milliwatt uh, video transmitter uh, because it's just, just not big enough. There's, it would generate so much heat, you would need uh, an awful lot more equipment. Um, both of these are, are, are reasonable. Uh, they both work off 5 volts, which I like because that way we can hook it directly up to the, um, to the receiver, uh, which will supply a 5 volt line. And so it makes it really convenient uh, to hook up, uh, uh, hook these up to, uh, to your individual systems. Um, the, the, the big problem with, with, uh, with this unit here, the FS200 or the F200 uh, is this antenna. I'm not a big fan of this antenna that's soldered into the board. As you can see, this is a replacement antenna and this is my second replacement antenna. Uh, very fragile, um, not a very, very, very good, uh, not a very good installation. So. Not a big fan uh, of uh, of the antenna mount uh, for this uh, for this camera. For the TX02 and the TX03, it has a handy little plug-on uh, antenna, which I find really convenient. It also rotates, so you can move it in different configurations depending on your equipment to move it out of the way. Um, and uh, I've never had uh, I have three of these cameras, and I've never had one of these antennas break on me because I can always move it into a certain direction. Um, the only other, uh, this one here, I'm not crazy about the antenna. This little camera here, you have to be careful of the power. Uh, it is backwards to most of the uh, standard connectors that you may have. So be very careful. I've marked the outside here with the uh, with red to show that the outside part of the cable is actually the positive and the one towards the inside of the camera is the uh, negative so uh, be very careful with that or uh, you could cause uh, you, you, you'll just blow it up actually um, I'll just show you a little bit of a uh, picture on both of these of a test pattern I have and you'll get to see what the the JPEG test pattern looks like compared to how this camera will take a picture of it uh, so this is a picture of the test pattern using the uh, LS-F200 and uh, you will see, you can see that this is pretty washed out uh, when you look at uh, what the actual JPEG look like. And this is a video of the TX02 and you can see the difference. Um, now some of this may be my video receiver, but this gives you an idea of what the color looks like on the uh, TX. Uh, TX02. Um, a little bit better than the uh, F200, uh, but you can see that the field of view between the two is different as well. So listen, if you've uh, liked this video, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time at Emerald Meadows, uh, your one-stop shopping for all things uh, RC and crafts. Bye-bye for now.